This is a deluxe studio at Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Today we're looking at room 2538. Let's head on in and have a look. You walk into the villa here. Immediately to your left is a nice painting of an elk with Mickey and Minnie in the background doing some hiking. Behind the door, there is a full length mirror that you can use to help get yourself ready in the morning. The first thing we see as we walk through the villa to the left is the sink area. Nice sink with a brand new mirror. We have H2O face soap and body lotion available for you. Some washcloths, a nice makeup mirror that does have a light switch built in. Below the sink, there are some additional towels as well as your tissue box, some extra toilet paper and some extra tissues. The drawer here on the left does have a hair dryer for you to use if you forgot to pack yours or if you'd rather use the hotels. To the right side of the sink is going to be your closet space. Open up the closet. Up top, you do have an extra pillow and blanket, some hangers, the ironing board and iron. And in the back, you have a fire extinguisher, a luggage rack, and a new in-wall safe. To the left side of the sink, is where you're gonna find your restroom. Toilet over to the right, towel rack over to the left. A very nice painting here of a deer in some woods. Small waste receptacle to the left of the toilet. Here's the inside of the shower. Sliding glass door shower, which I really enjoy. You have wall-mounted Disney H2O branded shampoo, conditioner, and body wash here. Your shower mat. Individually packaged H2O bar body soap. And a very nice double shower head option. You have a handheld and a rainfall shower. One thing to be aware of in these bathrooms and the studios, the light switch is kind of hidden behind the towels. So we weren't able to see this at first. I had to do some digging in order to find that. Across the way from the sink in the bathroom area is this little kitchenette. You are equipped with a sink if you need to wash some dishes, paper towels, and your coffee and tea selections. These rooms have the new double style Keurigs with abilities for K-cups and for ground coffee. Microwave above the Keurig, an ice bucket, and a toaster for you to use. Up above, you have some extra storage space on the left hand side. To the right is where you're going to find plastic cups, your foam coffee cups, and your paper plates and bowls. On the bottom here, you do have a mini fridge, some spots to hold some canned sodas. Top drawer here has some utensils. You have a can opener, a bottle opener, and a wine cork screw, and some plastic cutlery for you to use. Under the sink, you have some extra paper towels, an extra dish towel, sponge, and dish detergent. Making our way into the living space here, off to the right, you have a queen style bed. Four pillows are available. You have two lights available on the headboard. Each of these lights has a switch on it so you can turn them on and off individually. This headboard also has built in reading lights that you can adjust if you would like to read a book in bed. You can stick those away and the lights will automatically turn off. Nice nightstand over here on this side. This nightstand does have two outlets as well as a USB-A and a USB-C port. Nice space to stick a backpack and then there is a drawer underneath for you to use. On the left side of the bed, there are two beautiful pieces of artwork. On the left, you have a Geyser Point poster with Humphrey the Bear. Geyser Point, of course, being a nod to the Geyser Point restaurant downstairs. You also have Faline Falls. You have Mickey and Pluto here looks like Yosemite. Right side of the bed has your hotel room phone, another nightstand that has outlets, a USB-A and a USB-C port, another space to store a backpack, and a drawer here with a Bible. Across from the bed, you do have your nice large TV. This does not have the new software on it. A trundle bed down here that you can pull down. There are some outlets if you Pull this bed up a little bit 
probably not good to use while the while the bed is out but they are there nice little mural of chip and dale taking a nap it is advised that nobody over 150 pounds uses this trundle bed this is more made for children to the right of the trundle bed you do have some additional drawer space two small top drawers and one large small drawer on the floor you do have a trash and recycling receptacle for you to use and then underneath the drawers you have some pull out ottomans that you can use to get ready or you can use to sit around the room moving to the other side here you have a beautiful couch that you can use to sit on during the day this couch does fold down into another queen size bed for you to use if you plan on sleeping more people in the room. Nice little coffee table here you can move around. This coffee table has a neat little feature that you can use to turn it into an extending table. And there is storage underneath. This coffee table has another set of extra pillows and blankets. There is storage available on either side of that big unit. This studio is part of a two bedroom lock off unit. So this door next to the TV will open up into the one bedroom unit, which is in use right now. So we will not be reviewing that. The deluxe studio here does have a patio. Nice sliding door. Kind of a small patio, it has two chairs and a table for you. With these curtains closed, you can see there is a very nice wilderness design on the bottom here. You have Mickey and Pluto out in a hike with a couple of woodland creatures. Looks like a fox, some rabbits, some birds, and a squirrel. How nice. This is what the bedroom area looks like with all of the beds pulled down. The deluxe studio at Boulder Ridge does sleep five, so you can sleep two on the queen bed, two on the drop down bed, and one smaller person on the trundle bed. When the couch pull down bed is pulled down, there is a beautiful mural in the back here with Donald and the triplets, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, going on a camping trip. Donald seems to be taking a ride at the Geyser Point Geyser. And there is a light switch up top here, which adds some very nice accent lighting. So that'll conclude our tour of the deluxe studio at Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. For one night at the beginning of May, this room cost me 15 points. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to Monorail Central. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all real soon.